Hello guys, Ted here. Today I'm going to show you in this video how to measure the DC resistance of a guitar pickup which is already installed or desoldered into the pots and uh, the main reason why people measure the DC resistance of a guitar pickup is because uh, you know, uh, to check if uh, the guitar, guitar pickup is working fine or not, uh, you know, whether if the solder joints are not probably pro properly done, uh, if the wires are shorted in some place or not, the coils are, you know, not uh, probably pro properly joined and uh, stuff, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a good way to know uh, if you're, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, while searching for, uh, you know, you're searching for, for your tone, check out uh, you want to buy a pickup you know you check out demos on YouTube and uh, accordingly you buy a guitar pickup that suits your need and when you play it uh, when you install it and you play it you f uh, find out that um, uh, the pickup is actually a pickup or uh, maybe the entire gear of yours is uh, not actually performing according to your needs you know it's not actually giving that tone in your head so uh, 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 maybe the problem is uh, the problem can be anything. It might be your gear, your amp, your guitar, your pickup, your wire, anything. So, in order to pinpoint the problem, uh, uh, you have to check uh, whether your pickup is working fine or not. And uh, since your pickup is already installed, you can check it uh, by the method I'm going to just uh, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, first thing, you need a multi multimeter, as you can see out here. Uh, here's a multimeter, uh, a cheap one though, uh, bought for just uh, three dollars. And uh, here's the guitar I'm using, uh, a Samic AV3. It's modded with Seymour Duncan full shed bridge and the Duncan distortion bridge in the bridge position and ne neck position. The full shed is on the neck position, the distortion is on the bridge position. And uh, another thing you need is a lead cable out here. One of the leads is already inserted in the, into the jack and other leads, uh, you can see uh, the probes of the multimeter. Uh, okay, I'll come to this later. First, let me tell you how to set the multimeter accordingly. The DC resistance of a guitar pickup is usually in the range of 20k ohms. You know, see, I'll set the... It's a bit unclear maybe. But here's the 20k mark. If you're not, if you can't see, I'll set it to this to measure the DC DC resistance. And now uh, I'll uh, I'll select the I'll select the pickup which I want to measure the DC resistance of. Here I here I keep it in the treble position to measure the DC resistance of the Duncan distortion. And what I also need this is very important. You need to roll your volume pot all the way up, completely up. Okay, uh, so here the once again the bridge pickup is selected in treble position. Now, uh, now coming to the other side of the lead, one of it is all as I told you earlier, it's already inserted out here. The other side of the lead is out here. Uh, the red probe, I'm uh, I'm putting the red probe out uh, here below. You see the black, see the black ring out here, the black ring. My finger is touching. This is the insulating ring, and uh, one of the probes. It, do, it doesn't matter which one, the red one or the or the black one. One of it has to go above the ring, and the other one below it. And you see, you need to hold the. You need to hold both the probes steady. And now coming back to the multimeter, you can see, just a sec. Yeah, you can see the readings. Uh, coming steady just see so the readings have uh, st uh, steadied on the point of 15.93 15.94 so here's my reading it's actually 15.93 kilo ohms uh, of the bridge pickup the Duncan distortion that is and now selecting the neck pickup that is the full shred bridge the SH10B I selected in the rhythm position that is the neck position and now touching the probes one of it uh, above the insulating ring the other below it most it's very important to hold the study and again once again very important to keep the volume pot all the way up 
and here I hold it steady you can check the multimeter the resistance has come around 13.7 so here's my uh, the net the 13.7 kilo ohms and uh, so uh, you can see uh, now uh, what you need to do next to see if uh, your guitar pickup is working fine or not is you know the readings which you have obtained uh, through the multimeter you need to ch uh, you need to check it with the with the readings mentioned in the website uh, I've checked it beforehand uh, the Duncan distortion bridge uh, will measure around uh, 16 kilo ohms and I have got in the multimeter uh, I've got it around uh, uh, 15.995 kilo ohms if I remember correctly and this one uh, in the full shred bridge according to the Duncan website measures 14.1 kilo ohms and uh, in uh, in the multimeter, I've got around 13.6 kilo ohms. Both uh, both of these are uh, you know pretty close to the uh, values which are mentioned in the websites. Uh, but let me tell you this: uh, uh, the since the pickups are already soldered onto the uh, onto the pots, you know there will be some uh, difference in the resistance. Uh, what is uh, what is mentioned in the website and what you've got, and uh, so uh, uh, the uh, not much actually. Uh, uh, around uh, one or two percent so uh, 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 you can uh, you can see uh, you can see the you can see the values you have obtained you know if there's a huge parity between them then maybe something's wrong between your pickup otherwise if you get values like these with not much difference from uh, what uh, is mentioned with the website like I've got then your pickups working fine then the problem might be uh, with any other part of your gear so I hope uh, uh, this video will help you to you know uh, will serve its purpose. Uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Please.